Hey, this is Dave again. Uh, this video here, I'm going to show you how to take a clock that's got like an old flyer's name in it, plus all their birds. You know, we rent uh, clocks out, you know, to different people, and they use our clocks, and then they quit, or they, you know, buy their own, and then somebody else may want to use it. So I'm going to show you how you know you get that data and birds out and then dump another flyers bird in it along you know with their name so um, I have everything hooked up I was going to show you a video on my battery tied on my thing so I'll show you the hookup process again because really it's a two-part video once you get it hooked up then you would be referring to this video on how you go into Pydex to do it okay so um, it's all hooked up um, you know, I have a USB going from my computer to the club system. And then from the club system, I have a cable going to the clock that I'm going to be deleting the data from and also adding the new data and new flyer to. Okay? So we're going to open up Pydex. And when Pydex opens up here, um, uh, from other videos, I said, see, now this video, see, they got all the tabs named on the top. I don't know why sometimes it it comes and goes and disappears. Um, maybe it was a bad download. I don't know. So anyway, so we're going to go to data transfer right to there. And remember, I'm going to blow this up bigger here because it was kind of cut off at the bottom of my screen. Now you can see everything. I have the other clock plugged in now. And um, when it came up and it said uh, ex executive command, I run the red badge over it, an arrow down on the clock, and selected PC communication. And uh, so now on the clock it says communicate with PC. Now remember before I told you about this button on the bottom, read out clock. Um, now, I haven't even selected a flyer on the left or nothing here. I'm just reading the clock out because I want to know what data is in the clock first. You know, So I'm going to click on that. It says checking system data. And as it goes through that, pretty soon you'll, you'll start seeing, um, see on the right now it changed to Holly Putsky. And uh, that was um, 0580. Um, I don't know what that part of it was, if that was the... Her flyer number that I created but you can see all of the birds that are in her clock are uploading I think there's like less than a hundred but um, when she's done see now they're all there um, on the right they're all purple okay now I'm not sure but I think she's still in the club on the left um, yes she is so if I click on it you see now how they're both black they both match left and right okay and there may actually be more birds. Um, no, they're exactly the same because you can look in there under right in here where it says number of pigeon, 95 in the clock in the database, 95 in the clock. So they're exactly the same. Okay. So let's say I want to get rid of all these birds in the clock. You know, I actually have them in the database, so I can always restore them back to any clock I want. Whatever. Now she's given up flying for a while, so I'm pretty sure these birds are either gone, dead, flew away. She's, you know, given to somebody else or whatever. But in order to get rid of all those birds, see on the bottom here it says delete all. And that's going to delete everything out of that clock that, that we want to reuse for another flyer. So I'm going to click on that. And it says deleting pigeon data. And I'm not deleting them out of the left side. I'm deleting them out of the right side, the clock. If I wanted to delete them out of the left side, then they'd be out of the computer. So I'm just deleting them out of the clock. So, you know, depending on how many birds are in there, depending on how long it takes to delete. Now, now it's gone. The only data that's still left in that clock is her name. See, it still says Holly Putsky. Now, I want to get rid of that. Let's go over to the left and say we have a brand new flyer, and his name is... Um, I'm going to pick another one here, um, Ron Malaysia, okay? Now, he's already got a clock, and I know this. He doesn't have many birds either, so this will be a good example. So, with his name selected, and those are all his birds, there's 44 of them, 
I need to get his name first in the clock before I do anything. So under the box, there's an arrow here. Let's see it. it that arrow is pointing to take Ron here with this top arrow and move it into the clock. So I'm going to click the top arrow, and now you'll notice when it's done, see Holly's name is gone over here. Now see that? Now up here it's Ron. So now that clock is set up for Ron's birds. Now down here, the only choice that I have to take these all these purple or pink birds that are over here now, that got bands on them, and put them in his clock is use the double arrow down here under pigeon data. So I'm going to hit that. And when I click that, now it's going to load. See, and you can see I'm popping in over there. It takes it from the computer, transfers it into the clock. So, and you can see 21, 22, 23, 24. You know, it won't take very long. And once you're done doing this, then that clock, then you can hand to Ron, and he can take that back to his loft. And all of his birds and bands now are ready to go, and he can use this clock you know, to um, go ahead and race with. And um, from now on, add birds to it, delete birds out of it or whatever. So hopefully that was pretty uh, simple on how to do that. Like I said, a lot of people have problems with that because they, 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 these arrows here transferring the data for the fancier and the pigeons, there really isn't any, um, it's not very good common sense. I mean, I mean, you think it would, you know, be a lot easier now, but it's an older program, and um, however they created it, you know, they just did. So I can close out of here now, and un I just would unplug the clock and give it to them. But um, anyway, that's all there is to, and thanks for watching.